Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugia and we are in a natural park called Park Tal Maestral, which is Northwest Park. But in Maltese it's called Maestral. We're going to start from here, which is uh, above Golden Bay. Look at the view from here. Uh, it's uh, mid-October and the, it's summer, summer weather eh, today. It's very hot, it's beautiful eh, here. And look at this bay era. I will show you a panorama today. Our target is to do a loop. We start near the hotel here and we do the Maestral Park uh, above the cliffs this time because last time I did it under the cliffs when I did Russell Wash uh, video. So let's show you a little bit the view from here, which is spectacular eh? to say at least. Look at the color of the sea. And there, how beautiful it is. Eh? In front of Miss Arava, you see a super flat camera. And the views are going to be this kind of views, eh? which are very, very beautiful. So let's start our trek. The one in front of me, that it used to be a British shooting range eh? during World War II. That's why there's this embankment of uh, soil here. This is what remains from the shooting range. Uh, may I remind you that here is a national uh, natural park. It's very well guarded by the rangers here. So as I always say, you come here because it's nice and because it's clean. Keep in mind that these rangers are doing is to protect our environment and look how rugged this area is down here everywhere in the calm how calm this is here the views as i will tell you many times are amazing each time i come here they are amazing it's here trekking here one can choose two routes either the one we are going to do today which is suitable for anybody which is going up the cliffs we'll stay on the cliffs or as I did last time when the, the, the video is still wash, you do the bouldering down there. I have to say today that I regret I didn't come in shorts. Eh? The part here I will show you where to go in. You can down, down this route and then there are some bays down there which is called Russell Wash. And there are some small uh, boat houses here. Eh? But as I'm telling you today, we're going to walk above the cliffs. Whoever wants to go down the cliffs, I will show you from where there's a ramp where you can go down this route. But once you go past that uh, boathouse, navigation will be very, very hard. And uh, once you walk here, you will find this ramp that goes down to sea level eh? between the rocks, carved within the rocks. This is to go to Russell Wash. But today we are not going, go, not going to go down, but up onto the cliffs are. This track is suitable for everybody. Keep in mind that it's a little bit bumpy or rocky. Look, so good trekking shoes are advisable. Here we have reached one of the most tiny homes, two story homes in Malta. Look how small it is. Sir. To go up, you need this ladder. Looks like this has been restored. Someone last time told me it was like a guard station or uh, so they can check the area soldiers. But if I show you, or let me change the camera angle. Like this, you will have idea how small uh, this house is. Huh? Let me go inside. Uh. Like this, we are, I don't, Maybe a bed will stay here, maybe, maybe. Eh? But it's, I was curious about this place eh? here. But let's continue to enjoy the beautiful scenery of here. Eh? Once we reach this spot, the area will be very flat. So small inclines and low inclines, not like when we are down there. So, And uh, it's all bare terrain with some vegetation. And by the way, these are protected. Eh? 
don't try to do any damage here first of all because of the environment then you get in trouble so another nice feature of here i show you this one anybody knows exactly what these are i think something from the british as well there's an anchor and the number number one Here, while you're walking, the views, apart from looking down the cliff, everywhere is amazing, yeah? Look, there is no buildings here. And the track, it's nice to walk on. You have to keep uh, in mind that it's a rough terrain track, so... But with normal shoes or best with trekking shoes, you, you will do better eh, here. You'll be fine. Once you go down the trail, para, one can walk here. There's the trail here. It's a little bit hidden by the large rocks here. And one can easily walk to this boat house or this uh, small base here. But keep in mind it's a little bit rugged here. But once you get past that, uh, that boat house there, navigation and trek. It's considered bouldering and it's very hard to do. Eh? So now let's keep on top of the cliffs. Eh? As we have seen many times, Sarah, here, take care because you can find these cracks where the cliffs are breaking off. Eh? And uh, if you look down, look at the crack, how big it is. Eh? First of all, if your feet goes in, you can easily get injured. Eh? And if you look down here, eh? You will see chunks, big chunks of cliff that once were part of the cliff that gave way and they are down here, eh? everywhere we look. Eh? Another thing I wish to ask you for many of the viewers here that for me will make a huge difference when you see my YouTube videos apart from subscribing which is makes all this effort worth it. Uh, by leaving your thumbs up or a comment below yeah. it will help me a lot to to understand more uh, my subscribers or my viewers well as i was telling you before that one there is the last boat house and uh, this is where it gets very difficult as you can see here uh, everywhere is very big boulders and navigation is very very hard there you can see that there are, the cliff is crumbling down as well you can see big chunks if you see them I hope you can see them actually are big chunks of the cliffs that gave way there. all of these big chunks were part of the cliff ones from here I will, you will get the perfect 180 degrees there, look there's the cliffs there, Araba, Jnaina. Amazing, look at how hard it is here with all these big, big rocks are down here. And if we continue like this, there is Gozo. There is uh, Ahrash of Meliha. I don't think you can see it from here. There is the Red Tower up there. Meliha is there. And uh, there, there's Papai village as well. Eh? Another interesting thing is that here you will find this slab of concrete, which is very strange. But when you move to the side of it, you will know what this actually is. There was some other concrete here. Then here we'll find some rock cut steps. Eh? That one can go in. Eh? This was a World War II observation post. Eh? Then this amazing look. We have a concrete roofing, and then when we come in here, look, we will have another amazing view. Eh? What you think? Eh? Let me show you better by changing. Let me hold to here eh? because it's a long way down. But look how amazing! Let me show you better. Can have a look. How amazing views there are eh? from here. You can see Gozo, 
from here. And you can see how rugged this terrain is. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, down there, it's full of rubble walls. If you go to see my uh, Russell Wash uh, video, you will see me passing through these rubble walls. It's an amazing uh, thing. Oh, it's so rugged, but yet it was full. Uh, it was like a settlement here. And there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I, I showed it in the video. There's a rubble uh, jirna or a small room. And uh, by the side of it, there is even a well eh? on top of a rock. Eh? I never find this before. This is the view from this uh, rock cut room eh? or observation post. Remember that this is part of uh, our heritage and must be safeguarded. So like the graffiti down there, it's considered to be uh, vandalism. Eh? And even once there were people who did a barbecue on top of here, burning uh, protected uh, plants, and they were very, very heavily fined. Eh? But remember, this is done to safeguard our heritage. Eh? But it's better I start moving back here eh? because here it's a little bit a long drop. So let's go and continue our beautiful walk. Eh? So when, when you're walking here or trekking, one can either choose the, the traditional paths or the, the most uh, smooth ones. But if you have to walk close to the cliff and always keep attention where you're walking, it's a little bit more rugged. So uh, walking here, please take care uh, because of the plants. Eh? For example, uh, these plants, we can pass in between and not do any damage. Eh? And excuse my big shadow in the middle because this one now starts to go down. From here, look another big chunk of cliff that gave way. All these big rocks, once there were cliffs here. And if you look closely down there, it's full of rubble walls. Something I forgot to mention is that uh, for here, which is uh, parked on Maestral, uh, they have a very good website with maps, uh, with points of interest, with uh, trekking routes where you have to go. So you have all the information there. And another thing, if you contact the park, I know many of the rangers there. Actually, I know Kami uh, mostly because I talk to her because I ask her advice. She's very helpful. And she loves this place, eh, by the way. And uh, she will guide you and help you and tell you, Smile, you can do this, you cannot do this, take care. And why? Many times, that's the thing. Uh, sometimes I used to criticize her because I didn't like the, like an extreme way how she protects the things. But when she started explaining to me why they do this and why they do this, many of the things made sense. So here one can find this cut in the rocker. That leads to that, uh, the one that I told you is a villa. And most probably this was another stairs eh, that has collapsed there. Because here I look how many chunks of the cliffs fell off. Eh? And even there, if you see it down between these big rocks, there is another wall. Another interesting thing that I don't know exactly what it is. Eh? In Malta, many places, we find these markers are, which I assume they had to do something with either the British World War II or some mapping in yeah, Malta. But uh, we find here, we find uh, uh, near St. Paul's Island, there are many places uh, we can find this. Here is a very rugged terrain, which is considered bouldering. It's up there. There is a stairs that you can go up on the cliff. Keep in mind that coming from uh, Golden Bay, trekking in Russell Wash, it takes you several hours of trekking, hard trekking. If you arrive here at sunset, and especially if you don't have light, and you miss the stairs there, if you try to continue, it's very, very hard to continue because, uh, first of all, there's very rugged, lots of bouldering and it's cliffs. 
I don't know where you will have to go up to go back from where you came from. So keep in mind that you have to find these stairs, eh? because if you don't find these stairs, you will make trouble, especially if you don't have light and water with you. So on a funny note, I call that stairs the salvation stairs, because once I was here trekking with friends and we were lost. It was sunset, water was down. We were not going to go to Daita, but it was going to be very uncomfortable. And we find these steps exactly uh, at sunset. So we nicknamed these steps Salvation Steps. Eh? Well, here we find the famous Salvation Steps. Look, that from the cliffs one can start making his way or her way down to the sea. These are the steps I was talking to you about. Eh? They go around and around and around and around and then they continue down there and then one can make its way to the sea eh, from here. Let's go up again. Here we reached nearly two thirds of our trek. Here we did uh, two thirds of the trek. We are getting at the edge of the Maestral Park. Look how nice it is. Huh? The views are amazing. Remember, up there is a harsh of Meliha, Gozo. Then there is this structure there, which I will uh, take you there to have a look. Uh, remember to enjoy this area, you don't have to stay at the edge of the cliffs. I mostly at the edge and the GoPro ex exaggerates the, the edge. Remember that I have a one meter uh, stick as well. Uh, from there, there's a tower up there, a very old tower. And uh, going back from here, one can find some girna which is uh, like a small rubble uh, room. Eh? So now let's visit that area and there we'll close our vlog because going back it's uh, just trekking then. But this is the most beautiful area. So let's get to that area. These are the cracks that I was telling you about. Uh, how big they are. This chunk of uh, rock one day We'll go down as well. Yeah. One can find this strange structure here. I assume it's something World War II, maybe like a watch guard or something. But it's fascinating, yeah, I don't have an idea what this could be. Anybody knows about it, please comment below. Eh? And as usual, these, these uh, guard towers are, or what they are, with it, you will have these amazing views eh, from here. From this strange structure, uh, this marks the end of my vlog. Uh, remember that we started up there. We followed the cliffs all the way up there. There's where there's that uh, room carved in rock. We followed the cliff stuff here till here. And this is two thirds of the trek. If you want to continue the trek as I will do, but I will not film it. Then it's like a triangle. From here, you follow this path. Then when you see the Redison Blue uh, Hotel, you continue to it and then pass behind it and you will end up in the parking area. Uh, as always, please like, very important, please press the thumbs up on my videos. That uh, helps me a lot and subscribe. And uh, when you know places like this and you have any information, please comment below. Until next time, bye bye.